It's like no, 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 no. Do you silent click? Do you stealth click? Yeah. <laughs> you were stealth clicking for a mic check. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why. I feel it's like, like <laughs> you said that person whistling and go. <sighs> no, I just feel like my, my right hand's not quite as mobile. I, like there, getting my getting my thumb across that finger is really easy. Well, this one. side, it just, just doesn't feel like it's... it's. I bet Hampton's yeah. got yeah. the same problem. Oh, I'm the clicker. I mean, it's it's just I, showing off. I got a different, like... That one's, yeah, that sounds different. People's eardrums are bit bursting. It's a bit, bit right. de- deeper. That one's a bit more aggressive. That's my left. Oh. That's my right. Yours are sound the same. Yeah, Mine are, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. symmetrical. Yeah. Strange. You know, like, be- most beauty is in symmetry. Yeah. You want to hear so, mine? You're an Ugo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is the meat slap. It just doesn't this work. Is just the middle of <laughs> I don't know why. Is that your right hand? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably significantly smoother than your left hand. Yeah, exactly. For an obvious reason. Yeah, I've Chad. rubbed all the, the yeah. friction. Just friction. Just like, yeah, super smooth, this one is. <laughs> yeah. I heard they're uh, interviewing for a Scary Movie 5 sometimes. Yeah. I'm going to start stirring yeah. potatoes. Yeah. And Pass me that like, glass. Yeah. Right, today, well, welcome to episode whatever the hell we're on. I think we're on like 90 now, bro. Fuck. I think we are. Lo- we We're going to have to have a special on the 100. Yeah. Like, there's got to be something we do. We've we stopped. Just let we just skid by. Yeah, we've stopped, like, saying what po- what podcast it was at the beginning. <laughs> yeah. We, we just... stopped at, like, 60-something. <laughs> right. We've got the stag glasses. I've got my skull and crossbone because today we've got a guest. If you're not on Spotify or YouTube, what are you doing with life? Because um, <laughs> you're missing this gorgeous man, ladies. Welcome, Jason, to the podcast. And this is another man I picked up at the gym, Lou. You do I'm this good quite frequently. At this. Yeah. Does. Do it. Up at the gym. I did. Yeah. I've got a good game yeah. for men at the gym. Yeah. 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 He was strong beard, good hair game, got me yeah. every time. Yeah. It just wasn't good eye contact. Strong, yeah. eye, strong eye, eye contact. Wall. Whilst he was exercising. Yeah. yeah. Just to make it feel really just. Mm. Yeah, he, did, he gave me the old. Uh, are you using that as well? Yeah, yeah. you know that old chest. Yeah. The classic. How you yeah. get? How you yeah. going to gym the crash? Yeah. Using that piece of equipment. Maybe you mean that one over the other side of the gym? Yeah. No, it's all yours. <laughs> like Got all the classics. What, what do they call this thing, sir? Is that a, a pull-up bar? <laughs> <laughs> That's legitimately can, one. Can, 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 can you show me in your vest how you <laughs> use that? <laughs> but he was doing something cool on like on the. Oh, it was no. They, at the gym, they have these wibbly pull-up bars. We like, believe it looks it looks like a ladder of pull-up it's, bars. It's basically yeah, you've got a strap that goes either side of the pull-up bar so you can just drop the bar yeah. down to right. different settings. So like, he was doing bendy like a... stuff in that area, in mm. the general vicinity of the Wibbly bars. So I said to him, The Wibbly bar. What are the Wibbly bars for? Yeah. And he was like, I don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck are you asking me for? Does it say staff on my t shirt? I was like, are they pull-up bars? <laughs> And I was like, are they just for pull-ups? And he went, there's like eight pull-up bars right above our head. So yeah. I don't think so, no. Yeah. Well, and have you been goes, to a gym? Goes, you look like you've been to a gym before. Yeah, have you yeah, been to- yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah, you're right, probably, because it'd be a bit low, wouldn't it? Yeah, because yeah, it's three foot off the floor. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a full like, light that goes down to yeah. the floor. But what are they for? I, I've seen some people do like ro- you know how you can do rollouts on like barbells and stuff okay. so you put your knees on the floor hands on the floor you do a rollout test your core and stuff some people do it with that because it's quicker to set up yeah you just out. like lean on your knees and then you roll out and I suppose the angle probably makes it easier it, as yeah, well yeah, it's yeah, like so a, like a, a progression equipment yeah. that though for just a lean out yeah, yeah. there's got to be more to it I think it's you, like, do, like, you could do reverse rows with it and yeah, there's like, people that roll around it and do like gymnastic no, but things the ladder one you couldn't do that on though because there's like three or four in a line aren't they they're hanging like a ladder look it's like remember at school in the sports hall oh, yeah, and you had you those ladders there's only one in at a time there was only one bar in there and they just flip out so there's like I'm, I'm, it's two straight straps so it's they're, they're literally and you've plastic. just got holes all the way up oh, and then you yeah, just put no, one bar in and yeah, out sort of thing. and you pop it in where you want it yeah that's it right. yeah, okay yeah, so right. you could use multiples if in you my head it was a ladder of things and it's absolutely not yeah. it's a complete I was making a lie up uh, okay because in my head I was thinking you know when you're at school and there's, there's those like wooden frames that could like you've got yeah. one of them on the side of the functional rig yeah where there's those uber flexible women on Instagram that do it where they just like spread themselves to the yeah, world yeah, yeah. and then they're like just warming up like yeah. whatever you're scenting the gym is yeah. what you're doing <laughs> <laughs> on the prowl oh. <laughs> there's just blokes in the other corner of the gym going oh, oh. something's happening yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, well, look, let's look at this. If you're if you're not on YouTube or Spotify video right now, you can't look at this. I'm not even gonna describe what it is. I'm just gonna do this. It's beautiful. And you have to and guess that's what it when is. it breaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just my Monte Cristo ashtray. <laughs> oh, it's a Monte Cristo. <laughs> yes, a Cubanos. So it's a black. Uh, what is it? Black and silver? Is that gold? Black and gold. Yeah, he's nice. Black and gold, Monte Cristo. Look at Multi point ashtray. He's showing up here for a cigar game is weekly. Yeah, it is. So to be the, fair. There's like a cigar holder that looks like. Uh, they you know, don't like know when you see your audience. audience. Oh, yeah, he's got a bag of goodies. Oh, because this is how you really do cigars. Because as a gentleman, you offer. Oh them, my for God! Them to look choose at that. a cigar. Out Where's of the my box. camera? I've not even got a phone to do a camera picture. What the hell, Lou? Take a picture. Uh, did you just say a camera picture? A camera picture. Yeah. <laughs> not, I don't. Not a mind picture, yeah, Lou. A camera, a camera a picture. picture. I can do the mind one. Click. Done. Got it. Right now, you get the other one. Look at those. That's beautiful. Are we allowed to smoke these? I feel, like, we're, are, I feel yeah. like it's like stealing money from your pocket. This is the yeah. third box from my house, so like, yeah. <laughs> and you're supposed oh, yeah. to pick whichever one you want, whichever buddy. one. However, I'm a, I'm a, oh, right. however, the first thing he's usually inserted first, some of them. No, 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 this one is usually flipped up. If ever you buy a new box, the cellophane on it is usually flipped the other way. Unless you buy Cubans, which are never in cellophane. The cellophane is flipped up the one way so that you should, if you can't pick one of the other ones, okay. you should always take that So as a gentleman, one. you take that one, but as a giant child, I'm going to hold my hand over the top. Gonna grab one, and crush the four, and, and take it, the one that's not broken. <laughs> I'm going to let it speak to me, and whenever I feel a little bit of a something. <laughs> <laughs> You're blowing, <laughs> dribbling on the end of it. Feel that? I am just going to see if this actually does anything. Do I feel like anything? Does one of the, Does one of the cigars talk to your aura? Mm, more over here, definitely. Yeah. I think this. What that one? Fourth in. Fourth in. Yeah. Here we go. All right, Lou, be the gentleman and take the one with the cellophane that's flipped up. Yeah, you be a normal yeah. human. And then yeah. Lax can take his fourth one for no apparent reason. Look at that. that. Nice. So this Excellent. is a. A placenta cigar. Nice. Placentia. Yeah, yeah. Reserva natural. This, so is... this is pure dried placenta from <laughs> freshly born yeah. children. Fresh human now, children. J placenta. Jason, Jason is, the only... is, is in the child trafficking trade. We haven't mentioned what his job is. It is child trafficking, right? It is. That in, in, we've get instantly in, been demonetized. Get in, get in touch. I'll drop my OnlyFans <laughs> link on the, on the description. <laughs> It's an absolute I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Um. It's an absolute joke, YouTube. Right? Whoever's moderating this, once I put my request in for it to be moderated by a human, right? Listen to this sentence. That was called a joke. It's called humor. It still exists in the world, and nothing is off limits to humor. So, other than the fact that he has a private email server and snuffle. And other than that. <laughs> <laughs> so what are these? Placencia. The Placencia Reserva Original Natural. This is the only world's certified organic cigar. Wow. The only so certified organic cigar. So does that mean it's not only... It's not of course only, it is. It's yeah. not only That's posh. That's why we're doing it, because we're athletes. It's yeah. not only posh, it's snooty as well. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's a cigar where you can smoke it and smell your own farts at the same time. Exactly. Just to be that uppity. So hang on, why is it organic compared to a normal cigar? What's not organic about a normal cigar? Because <clears throat> aren't uh, they all just wrapped in its own leaf and everything anyway? So I assume it's to do with the growing process yeah, of the tobacco leaves oh, and so that's it. Yeah, they try not to because apparently in every single cigar you have, I'm going to put people off cigars on this right now, <laughs> you have larvae. Mm, you yeah. have beetle larvae in every single cigar. And if the humidity and the temperature of the cigar that you keep the cigars at goes too high, they hatch and beetles will pop out of your cigars and that's why most of the new world cigars so that's anything that's not from cuba are in cellophane so that if a beetle eats its way out mm -hmm. it'll try and eat the cellophane and it'll die ah. and it stops the beetles from going anyway so it's like a protective mechanism mm -hmm. and it's just the cubans being cheap and not putting cellophane on their, on their cigars oh, right. when they do it <laughs> so now here's the thing though that lou and i always quibble about do you keep the paper on the cigar absolutely because you're a snob and you're like look what i'm smoking, look what I'm smoking. Mm. yes you look paupers. especially if you've got a cohiba or something like that yeah. you're like yes oh i'm so much, i'm so much rich, Wait, richer so than you are i have i got this today look whoa <laughs> and cohibas in it so cohiba cigarette audience please note he's he's smoking machine rolled short filler cigars <laughs> don't know if that's good or bad it's, it's terrible no these are fun ones for party days i know they're good they're nice so like they're you, nice as a short no, smoke. what these are is ride out ride out cigarellos so you have them in your motorbike jacket pocket and then i have enough to offer everybody Ever. something and it doesn't cost me an i was gonna say and it's not breaking yeah. the actual bank so i got like a, a, a basically a goodie bag of these cigarellas for my birthday i love it so i got um got the juliet's 
the mm. Cohibas, mm. and one other, another Cuban one. Particus Monte Cristo, something like something, that. Something, yeah, 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 they yeah, do, yeah, they do, it, uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, they are quite nice. for actually. little ones. <laughs> I just said so. Yeah, the key was snobby mini, for a mini little snob, one. Absolutely, mini snob. Absolutely, a little bit of mini snob in there, <laughs> dumbing down my mini snobbiness with, you, with your words that I don't so, quite understand. I, I was watching a YouTube channel the other day, and it was um, this. It was a really snobby cigar channel, and they were. Um, they were down in London somewhere, and it's this uh, this this very British man and his son, and they're sat there, and they're, and they're talking away, and then the uh, police sirens come on. They're in this outside cigar lounge, and police sirens come on, and they're going on for so long. They decide, oh, this is awkward now. We should make a joke of it, and um, and the old man goes, oh, look there, there go there go the rosers. They're probably going to arrest someone uh, that's got a short filler machine made cigar, <laughs> and his son goes, yes, father, or maybe somebody wearing a uh, an undervalued watch in a built up area <laughs> oh my <laughs> god fuck's I can't believe people like that still exist I know mate honestly like, it's brilliant they, it's they must be in an absolute bubble oh like, yeah only com- surrounded com- by wankers completely different just like, full on zero they, they sat there with a two three hundred pound cigar and, yeah. and like they'll stub it out halfway through and be like oh I didn't like that and you're like whoa I'll the rest of it. <laughs> I just think when you yeah. that's there's there's levels and there's like there's I like the hoity toity. Like don't get me wrong, I like those people, but the the real hoity toity people are still a bit earthy. You know, because they it's it, the the hand me down money. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, it's yeah, that's like what it was. Old money. Yeah. They're all right. And it's the, the new wealth ones where they pop in, like these these generations of where there's not been they've not been on the land with the with the parents shooting the pheasants and doing all of the old school rituals. Yeah. I don't like that lot. But he was put that guy who was clearly sorry, he, I bet he's a hilarious to be around. Mm, yeah. Like the robbers, just, like thinking that's funny. Imagine like how much you could wind him up without him knowing. He just would be absolutely clueless. <laughs> but I bet it's great fun. Unless they're like Racist or sex, like oh, no, not sexist. Sexist sometimes is funny because Churchill is hugely sexist, but in the most comedic ways. Like you can't beat Churchill's one-liners. Do you remember when did she, that one? There's one where she said uh, she called him an, a, a, a terrible oaf or drunk or something like that, and uh, an uncouth drunk or something. She calls him that, and he goes, it's, "I'm probably fucking this up, but it's along the gist of, well, mate, I may be a drunk." But in the morning, I'll wake up sober. You, however, will still be ugly. <laughs> Just look up the real way he said that because it's it's savage. Thank you, mate. But no, yeah, no, you've got Thank to you love. For this. I wasn't expecting you to be bringing welcome, anything. Mate. I know, yeah. Well. Just, just, just you wait. We've only opened half the bag. The, this, look, Don't you go peeking, no, I'm not peeking. I'm trying to show the bag. He came with this. It's it, it was a camera bag. I used it's to do nice, like a nice lot more bag. podcasting and, oh, and filming that. and things like that. KNF, they're good. I like KNF. Yeah. That's the nice. Hey, if you're looking for a camera bag, KNF concept. Search one of the cameras. This is really it's nice. Beautiful. Look for one that's like um, a, a what would you call that? What's the word for that? Gray, mild gray. I don't fucking know. Cause. Looking at Lou's picking up bits of tobacco with his fingers by <laughs> yeah. licking his finger and popping. I didn't, it I didn't lick it. I'm just sweaty, yeah, buddy. <laughs> I don't need to lick it. I'm moist all the time. <laughs> still, <laughs> got, nice. still got some leave on my hand from earlier. Yeah, camera bag. Have a look at those. Because people always ask me where my camera bag's from. But mine's an Amazon one, but it looks dope. It's like a, a canvas style thing with leather straps. It was only about 30 quid. Nice. Bargain. Um, so, yeah, we've got a bag full of goodies that we didn't know we were getting. We've got a Monte Small Cristo ashtray. Bags. We've got a placenta made cigar that's fully <laughs> organic, made of real babies. You're so glad you <laughs> spent money on that. that. We've got uh, <laughs> these crazy ass lighters, yeah, right? But, so here, hang on. Right, let me let's see if you mock me again. All right, all right. Oh, you got the zippo with the jet in. Zippo yeah. with the beauty. Double jet. Oof. Boom. Is I that all right? That. Is that acceptable? If I turned up your house, would you? I thought you were a peasant. That's really cool. Oh, it's a bit small. He's got a four burner. It's four burners. But I'm in there. Oh, hold on, I'll turn mine up. Oh, <laughs> That's it. on the lowest set. You can get it. <laughs> Otherwise Hold on to your beard, Lex. It's going to get frazzled off here. That's down. Ah, uh, you see, oh, you've anticlimaxed yourself now. Oh, okay, now it's pretty. And then it Jesus. usually turns colour as well. That's the small one. 
Okay. And then, and then okay, so that's your. So just describe people aren't, aren't, re, aren't, aren't watching our video. It's like um, looks like an a vape. oblong, oblong, the size of some people's vapes. That is, yeah. yeah. And then there's another one he's brought, which looks like a blowtorch. It's, yeah, you it's know, the, way of when people it. flambe. Yes, a flambe. Yeah, it's it's more gentlemanly, like sat around a table thing. I think it looks like a weapon. And then the, this again is on the set, and that you like the cigars with. Oh, that is a that you could roast marshmallows. But with. you can turn it right up. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if Lexi stands is, over the other side of the room, I can light his cigar. That's brilliant. That is awesome. So, we'll we'll tweak that down just a little bit. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's you, more sensible. You know how quick does that run out of gas? It doesn't. This one's great. That one's really? terrible that because cheese. of the four jets, because there's only still one jet from this. So it's far more economical, but to feed four jets, that it just runs quite out really quickly. quickly. Yeah, this doesn't. But, this, but, this will last days and days and days of, of just continual lighting really? and touching up. And can stuff. you do this? No, see, so. Lou, click for me. <laughs> Not with the meat finger. Not with strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally the only reason I got the zipper was that. that just thing. so you can flick just it back. So, yeah, you can just go when you're done but then nice. the butane like pings out so they don't quite make it even though that is a zippo butane it doesn't mine quite lock, mine in locks there. in mine's pretty solid like, yeah it doesn't no. fly out yet anyway i'll say that i do like that noise though it's very nice <laughs> and i did posh it up look with a leather yeah the leather case leather, beats, beats leather, everything leather case like. and it's proper i haven't got a fancy case for anyone. case and you hook that to your belt loop Again, when we're out riding, that's the winner. Mm. I've got that. And, and you've got, got my cigar little, case. Got my little poor man cigars, uh, which <laughs> when I open, in the distance, you can hear Jason go, <laughs> oh, machine mode, pop. <laughs> Bring me another placenta. <laughs> I'm making cigars. Bring me another child. <laughs> so, right. So, hang on. We've got to clip these. How Now... We are, we are basic bitches when it comes to clip um, the, the clippity clipping, but we've been putting it on the table and doing it like this because when we tried to clip it manually, we'd always end up with just like a. a, I, bit I, of a went, cockeyed. I went manual and there's, I'm oh, a slight there's, angle. There's nothing wrong with being cockeyed on it and stuff. And if you if you have any pyramids, mm. so like you you have the pointy ones, yeah. then you you should cut it off at a slight angle apparently for the draw. Right. So if you if you've got like a stick or something poking out the, of a tobacco leaf, if you cut it at a slight angle, then you get a better yeah. draw over the top or underneath it or whatever. We need to get one of those like punch cut things. Yeah, punch you can cut punch it. cut it if you want. This is a nice cutter there. It's on the bottom. This one, oh Anthony. shit! So I punch cut in the end of it. Yeah, so you can just wind it in if you want to punch cut it. Generally, so you're a bit upset now. I am. Can I get another one? <laughs> I'm swap cigars. <laughs> I'm <laughs> smoking <laughs> anyway. I'm joking. I'm, no, I'm joking. <laughs> so I'm having deep throat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, have oh, two. This is good. <laughs> Lou's gone quite deepy with his. Like you've gone, you've gone S like. His, is, his has been in a three-way. So all, all you look for is where the cap is. You just don't so you're clip still, the top of the cap. Is he so going to be you've got cap that on it? Yeah. No, no it should be all right, right, generally speaking. But I'll, I'll punch cut if it's like slightly bigger ring gauge than this. That's all. That's good. Yeah, and just clip and go. As long as, as long as you're not taking the cap off, that's all. Because if you take the full part of the cap off, it'll you it'll see the cap comes down there, and that's it. It starts to unravel. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm just like, that's talk, it. Joey. Where's he put the money? Clip. Ah, it's in the fridge. Damn. You just fired that all over. Jack's leg. Everywhere. It's all good. It's all right, I'll use my sweaty hands to get it off. Yeah, you'll, you'll use your clam hand. <laughs> clam hand. <laughs> and clip at the same time with the other one. Ooh, that tastes nice. Mm. Have you had a dry draw? Yeah. It smells lovely, this does. So it's, it's Nicaraguan tobacco, So, um, but because I'm a little bit of a bitch when it comes to cigars, um, I can't handle the strength or the nicotine. No, we So can't I either. love the flavour of the of a Nicaraguan tobacco because mm. um, it's something to do with, like, the um, the land in Nicaragua is really volcanic, isn't it? So apparently because of that, it, it just gives them an intense flavour to the uh, tobacco leaves. But this is the one that's, like, the lightest in strength. So right. you get all the flavours, but you don't get... Blood. mashed in with the nicotine but Don't still it's, it's a good well, it's getting, a good size cigar Christmas still now, so this is a good size cigar it's probably yeah, like a, it's pretty solid. Yeah, I reckon you could make this run for 45 minutes I'll be here for the next 90 minutes folks oh right yeah, <laughs> so so very slow even better very right, but slow but it will go right. for that length oh absolutely oh, okay, yeah. so sweet. So just we keep catching up and lighting it because we've had them uh, the size of this throughout an entire podcast still going by the end we've had about a quarter left mm, yeah so yeah because we had some of those Churchills didn't we The so this is Reserve at Ridge 
Oh. Yeah, the Davidoff. R- we had Churchill Fatboy once, yeah. which is not the real name. Um, and <laughs> the Fat Boys. Yeah, and then we have the. Then we have the. We should start our own cigar company. <laughs> well, Fat Boys. Picking, yeah. picking up. Decent. Picking up boys at the gym yeah. again. Well, what's, yeah. What's the soil like in your back garden, Lex? Do you reckon you yeah. can <laughs> grow some cigars? That's how they go. Come in. You just, you just plant grow them. a yeah. cigar tree. You plant the. You, you plant the cigar. Yeah. <laughs> the cigar butts. Yeah. That's how it works. Do you know how awesome that would be? Hmm. Try to think he's just dangling off a tree. Just, oh. Then there would be a god. Mm. That 100%. That you'd be like, yes, I'm fully in. All the gods. So these See, are Placentia thick flame. Reserva Original. But you light it with the heat, not flame. Yeah. You know, you, you know be, it's, yeah, you're because it's so thick, the end of it. you're able to like that's it. disperse yeah. it quite evenly. And, and that's why, like, for the cigarillos and stuff, you'd use mm. a much smaller jet torch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's why the Zippos are perfect for the cigarillos and stuff. So you, you're just trying to basically... You see the end of it, Lou? It's nice cherry. Mm. So, yeah, basically you're making it cherry. You're not drawing through it yet. So I understand. And then everyone might or might not be able to see it. So as soon as it's cherry like that, then you can take your first few drawers. Once you guys are lit, I'll tell you something that will change your life with cigars. I promise you. That's not even like an over-exaggeration for it. Change your life with mm-hmm. cigars, right. Watch your, watch your foot on there. You're just catching one of the uh, cables. That's it. Are we still? Well, if so, you look at the sound now, yeah, is it still going? So I'm having a chat with the peaky sound, and I'm trying to talk as well, but I might have kicked a wire out. It's alright. I can edit this no? out. Everyone say something. Right, I'm going to go first. So tits. Yep. Boobies. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, so, so it was just a twisty on that thing. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, must have been. You need to keep an eye on it though, to make sure mm. somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. Well, I've right. not touched this. Lex, you can edit back in now. Right. How do I make this? Um, just push it, push the button in the back. It's like oh, a, this bit. That's Star, it. Right, yeah, Star Wars weapon. Oh, that is quite satisfying. You'd get on well with Anthony. You would. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he he works for Davidoff. He's been on the podcast. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw most of that. Episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. The it's lovely guy, Anthony is. The little that we know. Yeah. Yeah. He's taught us. He taught us the basics. But when we met Anthony, we were like. We're still super basic and we don't know a huge amount, but we knew nothing. It's just because I'm a fucking right. Can I can act, dude? Can I, so like, I can't just be like, oh, I can smoke this cigar. This is nice. I'm like, why? Yeah. What is it? What so when for? I blow on it, yeah. is the whole head got to a red? Yeah, absolutely. And then you know it's perfectly lit. So those bits so a little bit more. more. That's it. Oh, that's cool. And then that should be good. And then blow on it, and then and then take a drawer on it because that's that's. And again, it sounds like I'm, I am a massive geek. So for everyone watching this, I'm just a huge fucking geek, and it's going to come out on it, though. right? And and now when you draw on it, you will draw evenly. You won't get it like fish uh, or boat. We won't get a loophole. That's it, and and so it will burn evenly, which is how you're supposed to enjoy it. It looked like a ski slope. Yeah, that's it. When you were smoking it, you remember? Yeah. Awesome with them. We're like, what are you doing with that? Like, how is it sucking? It's like. But then we were also told if that's how it wants to go, you've got to let it just do its thing. Definitely so not. I interfere with it all the time. <laughs> all I that. like it. Look at that. Why wouldn't you want to play with that all the time? It's like a mini flamethrower. I'm just like, oh, it looks like it's off. Just yeah, a I'm couple of millimetres. <laughs> Get up yeah, That's it. Right, so we're going to take our draw. Now yeah, we're yeah, keep going. We? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep Smoke away, buddy. And then once you've taken a few to- uh, a few puffs on it, that's it, tokes then. <laughs> then um, I'll show Ooh. you something to do with the cigar and uh, it, it'll change it completely. Is it what? Hang on. Well, that's really nice. That is very subtle. Now, are you going to monolo- Monica Lewinsky us there? Is that what you're going to you're going to do? What's that? What? Monica Lewinsky. Explain. What was the, the American president? Who was it at the time? Clinton. Was it? Who, uh, I don't know fucking anything about affair. American politics. He I don't know about fucking British politics. He had the affair, yeah. didn't he? And he uh, satisfied Michael Linsky with a cigar. Lit or unlit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a question nobody asked. Yeah, sorry. Was it a cigarello? Was it a cigar? Yeah. Was it a cigar. He's yeah. a president of the of Americas. I'm pretty sure he had some good old illegal Cubans in there. Probably good, working and rolling somewhere. Good man. Good yeah. one. But yeah, okay. So, let's actually introduce you for what you actually do as a human being, other than baby placenta cigars. That's it, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) So, um, I am an alkaline nutritionist by trade, so I specialise, and this is why I can justify cigars, because I'll tell you why cigars are alkaline in a minute. It's basically a reduction of biological pressure on your system as a body. So what I do is I alter and shift people's nutrition and well-being to make sure that 
Um, I don't want to say I cure cancer, but there has been instances. Um, MS, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, leaky gut syndrome, underactive, overactive thyroid, and all sorts of things. And, and the idea is that I just implement the nutritional protocols that I put in, along with a little bit of mindset. And um, the goal is a long and happy, healthy life. So I'm here to add time to your life, avoid the diagnosis. Um, is is the point of what I do as far as well-being is concerned. And then I run a very, very boring crypto mining uh, company, which there's nothing glamorous about it. You buy machines. They're remote hosted over in America, and that's it. Yeah, but that's that's interesting. Yeah, it's it's cool the fact that you get paid out. And like uh, one of the sayings my parents had when I was younger was there's no such thing as a magic money machine. Well, fuck you, mum and dad. Yes, there is. (laughs) (laughs) And I bought a load of them. (laughs) So, um, I'm interfering. Yeah, stop interfering. <laughs> this is what you need to do now. So, okay. this always, always will change your smoke. Depending on the quality of the smoke, it doesn't always matter about the quality, but you can do something called purging it. Oh. Okay, so what you do instead of, and make sure you haven't got a big ash, Doesn't anything more than that, it. yeah. So you take a light to it, and then you blow through the end of it. And if there's an excess ammonia inside of this, so depending on how long they've been stored for and stacked up and fermented, there'll be ammonia in them, and this will change it completely. The reason you um, you right. smoke it first is to get a flavour for it. Yeah. Then too high now, I'm going to take a suck of my ammonia first so I yeah, know yeah. what that tastes yeah. like it, it should be it's a little bit bitter in the back of your throat and it, it causes like a pepperiness okay and then take a flame to it and you blow through it and if there's ammonia you'll see the flame change and go orange look at that the horrible thing is you have to keep going until you don't see a flame anymore but if you've got a big ash as you can see it yeah. just pop off so you never do it with a big ash that is bizarre. Look, at that is bizarre. It's a little bit magical. If we were high right now, that'd look quite beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you mean, if? <laughs> we're mesmerised. I feel like you can go forever doing this, though. No? It's not just burning the oxygen. Oh, no, it's dying. Wow. And then when you resettle, now when you take a draw, smooth as silk. Wow. Completely I feel, different. I feel like this is a... a I hope you fre- freshly gassed this up before we I start. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, okay, right, you keep talking about the crypto thing for people. And, and you know, there's, there's no extent to when you can stop purging. I had to purge a cigar four times the other day, and it still came out like a flamethrower. But it completely changed it. If you feel like it's getting really peppery and really, like, almost sour and, and like, it's sticking in the back of your throat too much, like, you enjoyed it to start, and then it changes and shifts, yeah. purge it and blow like that. You can, like, knock the flame off if it looks like it's alive, but just keep blowing, keep blowing. That's what she said. Exactly. <laughs> so with this crypto mining, I've heard loads ah. about people that crypto mine, but I don't actually understand what the fucking process is. Like, what the hell is it? So it it used to be very complicated. Mm-hmm. So an old friend of mine um, showed me... That is way smoother. Yeah. That, that, that is way less peppery. That Would you trick. look at that? Ain't that the trick? Wow, it's actually really easy to blow through them as well. It's less hard than you think it's going to be. Oh, really? Yeah, especially when you have a superhuman, awesome lung capacity like I do. So, cryptocurrency mining used to be very, very difficult. You used to have to be a major computer nerd. Now, I'm a nerd, but I'm not a major computer nerd. You used to have to know coding and all sorts of bits and pieces because you'd set a load of graphics cards up in a line, and then there'd be, like, power supply units. There'd be hundreds of different wires everywhere. And you can look this up. It's uh, it's either GPU mining or CPU mining and just looking at these things. Yeah, there we go. Go on, go, go, go. <laughs> Stay with it, though. Keep Just going, keep going, Lou. Take Low. flame away a little bit further. Keep yeah, blowing. Yeah, yours is all right. Yours is not too bad. Yours yeah. done. Just depends. You had the worst. Yeah. Just depends on which one you pick out. See, the fourth. Oh, wow, yeah. Easier to pull as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot easier to pull. Yeah. So it used to be really, really complicated. It looked complex. It was wise and all <clears> sorts of <throat> crazy things. And you used to have to be a massive nerd. And a friend of mine showed me this rig... Um, that he had, which was like, yeah, he's paused that. I'm gonna flip one second. That's right. One second. It's a while since we've had uh, three fat boys going. So, GPU CPU mining used to be 
or just look scary, frightening. And then they brought out what they call ASIC machines, which is application specific integrated circuit machines, which are only designed for cryptocurrency mining. So you can't do anything with them. Whereas a, a, um, a graphics card before you could play on the computer, can you? And just yeah. keep it running in the background. This, you just plug it in. You hook it up to the Ethernet port. They now do wireless because they're coming around with the times. Um, you slot your mining details in on the on the web interface. I'm, I'm just making it really, really simple. Yeah. I have a, like a nine-minute video that shows you unboxing a miner to having it uploaded to your mining pool and running. So that's on, on, on my YouTube channel, but not that I'm trying to plug that, but link, I'm just saying it's, it's link nice. In the link in bio. It, yeah, the yeah. coin mining we'll geek. There. Yeah. Is that what <laughs> um, it is? Yeah, that's what it is. If they search coin mining geek. Coin mining geek, mine. I'll come up and you'll be able to plug in a cryptocurrency miner in less than nine minutes, I swear down. It's super, super simple. And once you've put your mining pool details in, um, you've obviously got to have a wallet set up. And again, I've got another video on setting that up, but and then it pays into your wallet and then you set a payment threshold. So yeah. either you can get paid out every 24 hours in that specific coin. So it is very specific. You can't buy a, an ASIC machine and then switch algorithms. So you can't mine Bitcoin one day and Ethereum the next or anything like that. So the, so the machine that you buy is specifically mining a set coin. Mm -hmm. um, now, the problem is in this country, gas and electric, we're not yeah. going to go political on it, but there is only about two cryptocurrency mining machines at the current rate of electric that are currently profitable if you ran them in the in the UK. But I remote host my machines over in America. Mm -hmm. And the difference is over there, I pay eight pence per kilowatt unit. Mm -hmm. And over here, it's about 33 pence. So it's the difference between it's profitable and time. completely unprofitable in, in a <clears> lot <throat> of machines. Wow. Yeah. Um, and when you're running... So my machines over in America are three and a half kilowatts a piece. So it's the equivalent of running about three and a half kettles 24 seven. Right. So right. you need the electric to be economical to produce the coins. Um, but yeah, it's, that's about as fascinating as it gets. Is, it's still is choosing the machinery. Cool, right? Oh yeah, it's- it To is. be having the machine itself. How much, how much does a machine cost? Oh, or no, does it good. vary? Yeah. Massively. So again, you, you are looking at something called hash rate now. So hash rate is how much power that machine has, so how many ASIC chips. So have you heard about like chip shortages and things like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. So chip shortages are because all of us greedy cryptocurrency miners are taking all the chips for our ASIC machines because my machine that's about this big, so yeah, like yeah, big. Foot, uh, which which I'm, a, I'm about three and a half feet in accordance to these guys <laughs> <laughs> who are out angry massively, and I'm tiny. <laughs> so it's about a foot and a half long by about a foot wide, maybe two foot high, is the equivalent of 140 to 150 graphics cards. Jesus. In the same machine, which would be stacked up on a, um, a racking system, the full length of a, a massive room, equally the width and all the way across this, just to get them in a line that they weren't hot enough to make themselves explode sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So technology is really moving on, but that's the hash rate. So according to how many chips you have in a machine is according to the hash rate. And obviously the more chips, the more expensive the machine because the better the rewards, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. The problem with that is technological advancement. So as technology advances, people, and by people I mean the manufacturers, are the ones that really capitalize on this and they make more and more powerful machines all the time. Well, when you add a more powerful machine to the network, the hash rate comes up, but the reward's still the same. So the reward gets split. What, what's the hash rate? For so, people that wouldn't know that term. So hash rate is basically how much like work. Us. Ha hash <laughs> rate is basically just how much work a machine does. Okay. So you could just like give it the revs of an engine. <clears throat> exactly. Right. So you could just give it a figure of one. So say one machine is one hash. Yeah. Yeah. If if you want to call it that, there's giga hash, peta hash, and all sorts of other weird, and wonderful terms. See my geeks coming out now. Yeah. Um, you just need call it a hash, right? And then somebody brings out a new powerful machine. Lewis brings out a two hash machine, mm -hmm. but it comes onto network where there was only one hash before. Now there's three, but it's still only the same reward. Right. So the reward, say the reward was one coin, is now split between three. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So also, the if more they put machine, a machine on with more hash, it's absolutely. like adding more people on, but you're not, you're adding one unit, but it's multiple additions to the number exactly. overall number. Exactly. Oh. So you imagine in the Bitcoin. So that's how they stop people just ramming a powerful machine on there and just rinsing. No, they don't. They just allow them. 
No, because it's it's reducing the reward. Isn't That's it, it exactly. If it so didn't, didn't reduce the reward, then they'd just be rinsing. Yeah, and area. Bitcoin, yeah. Bitcoin specifically. So everyone's like, "Do you mind Bitcoin?" Absolutely fucking not, <laughs> because it is the most competitive coin to mine because it's the OG, and everybody sees that the value of it will just continue to rise because it's a store of wealth. That's it. It's not like Ethereum where people build stuff on it and they've got smart contracts and NFTs and all that other shit. Bitcoin is just a Bitcoin. Yeah, it's like a digital gold. That's yeah, all. Yeah. That's if you want to compare it to something, but it will only ever go up in value because there's only a finite amount of it. We are still digging gold up out of the ground, so every extra ounce or kilo or whatever you want to call it, ton of gold, if 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 you can even comprehend the value of that, um, devalues the rest of what we got on this planet, doesn't yeah. it? Because we found more. Way, yeah, but yeah. you know, if price of gold is this and we just found this much more, it lowers the value, doesn't it? There will only ever be approximately 17 million Bitcoin in existence. Now, some some geek just like me on this channel is going to go, there's 21 million, not 17. No, nope, 4 million have already been lost. Well, didn't they just find, they just found in, in some guy's oh, I saw that, yeah. 30 billion pounds worth of cryptocurrency. Mm. So they didn't just say Bitcoin. And that was on like five USB sticks or some yeah. weird thing. Like it's, yeah. it's crazy. That is yeah, crazy. It is mad. But, but we, it's, it, we were saying, that, like, people go, oh, crypto, it's this scary thing. And then Lou pointed out the other week, you know, you go to a shop and beep on your phone to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, well, that's crypto, you dodo. Yeah. Just because you can go and change the current crypto into paper, it's still all moving that yeah, way. Yeah, it's all digital, isn't it? It's not all essentially well, digital. not real. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you class a, a cryptocurrency <clears throat> as? It's a digital currency. Mm -hmm. Well, do any of you do online banking? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You're already you're dealing already with doing digital it. currency, except you don't really control it. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, it, what did it say on physical, on paper, on like a... Twenty pound note. It says I. It's an IO. Promise. Yeah, it's not the bearer, the sum of. Yeah, exactly. So you don't it's even not, own that. No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not even. It's an yeah. IOU. Yeah, it's an yeah. IOU, yeah. isn't it? So yeah. it, it's it's a very weird concept, isn't it? I think it's scary for a lot of people, but Whereas, probably shouldn't be. No cryptocurrency. You can one hundred percent have um, the ownership of it. Now, there's there's different things inside of it. I don't know how far into the technicalities of it you want to go, but uh, essentially, if you hold cryptocurrency on something like Coinbase, for example, yeah. or Binance, or something like that, that's an exchange. And all you're doing is you are offering money to hold against the value of that coin. You don't own the physical digital currency. Now, not many people know that. And what you have to do, there's a saying inside the crypto world called, not your keys, not your coins. And so it's like if you have a safe at home, mm. you've got the uh, yeah. combination to the safe. So if you've got some gold bars in there, you punch the number into the safe, you can open the safe, they're your gold bars, aren't they? The same with cryptocurrency. So you can download what they call a warm wallet to your computer, your phone. You can even get a cold storage wallet, which is a physical device, which takes the cryptocurrency away from the exchange. Oh, wow. Okay. And then you own the coins because you have a 12 or 24 seed key phrase. Yeah, which they always say, never lose this because if you lose exactly. it, Exactly. That's it. Because that's your only combination to the safe. Because when they arrested no that backs. guy who was who ciphered off like hundreds of millions in crypto he just went i forgot the passwords and yep. there was nothing they could nope, do there's nothing. no way they're getting into anything not unless they're waterboarding that guy yeah they ain't getting those keys no. and that that's the same not your keys not your coins so if you are on an exchange with stuff and there's been some horrific stuff go down in the last couple of weeks yeah. exchanges major exchanges the top five exchanges have been seen to be doing ponzi schemes like the banks were doing back in 2008 creating an infinite money glitch yeah now, stay with me for a minute. So basically... Make it as simple as you can. I'm going yeah. to. So some, this is fucking scary, though. So somebody buys... Um, so the, the actual platform is called FTX. So some of you might have seen this in the news, some of you might not. It depends how much of a geek you are like me. But essentially, FTX is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges on this planet. Was. Okay? And what happens is... Um, they have a sister company called Alameda Research. It was just a trading company, but bear with me. So there's two companies, the FTX and Alameda. Now, what was happening was people were buying coins on FTX. So they were buying in association with the value of, and FTX was like, don't worry, all of the funds you've got with us are backed by us one-to-one. -one. So if anything ever goes wrong, hmm. we can pay all your money back. That wasn't the case. They were loaning the money through a back door in the exchange to Alameda Research at nine to one is the latest figure. 
so like you go and loan money from a bank. So I want a mortgage. Nine pounds to every one. Yeah. So they were over leveraging their own money their to a, own money out of the exchange. Our trade. money, if we put yeah. into FTX, so say me, Lou, and Lex all um, how put are they 10 allowed pounds. to choose that? How are they allowed to do nine times? It's their own choice. They could have leveraged it however much they want, but they were trying to keep it on the low. And then basically somebody was looking over balance sheets and things and was like, whoa, we don't think you've got what people can pay. And then somebody with a lot of money drew a lot of it out and that starts the cascade. And then it turns out another cryptocurrency was heavily invested into FTX and another one had um, trading with it. So do you guys know the Winklevoss twins, which in the Facebook story, they were the ones that got the payout from um, Zuckerberg. Right. So no. Zuckerberg was the one that stole the Winklevoss's ideas for Facebook. Oh, okay. So if you watch the social media video um, uh, film and stuff, it's fascinating. Uh, great work ethic film and stuff. So the Winklevoss twins were the ones that got screwed over for the original Facebook idea, but they got a payout of like a hundred million or something. Guess what they bought? Bitcoin. Oh, right. So that now they're multiple billionaires, and they run a company called Gemini, and Gemini has just halted all of their reward schemes. Another exchange, BlockFi, has just halted all withdrawals. So if you have any money in them, you are not allowed to access it. It's just a domino effect. Scary. Yeah, it is. It's crazy because... But this is the unregulated part of it. This so is the bad here's side. Here's the good it. news. This... Bitcoin has actually rallied this week. Have you seen? Yeah. yeah it's yeah, actually rallied bit. against it. So there is still a massive interest in crypto it's 100 percent. it's not going anywhere it's going to be something because we're getting rid of hard currency people who don't want to be tracked are going to want a way of dealing with their money and putting it into something that they can't be traced through mm -hmm. i.e gangsters drug dealers gun runners all of these people um if it's not diamonds or something it's going to be crypto so they there's, there's going to be this point where this is going to be the lowest dip we see in crypto since the origination of the bitcoin i think so this is your time now if you didn't know about crypto didn't know think about investing in it do some diligent do due diligence because this is not financial advice <laughs> yes absolutely not <laughs> i just told you we're smoking placentas Exactly. Don't listen to this like, guy. What, what are you talking about? But also, about, like... maybe go do a little bit of research, work out how much money you've got that you don't care about, and think about maybe in the next few... Well, how long do you think they've got? A month? Three? When it bottoms as hard as it does. So because everything's coming out right now about all of this shady shit that's going on inside the crypto industry, don't let that put you off. Because on the backside of shady shit comes regulation. And when regulation comes, there is Boom. trillions, not billions, not millions, trillions of dollars in hedge funds just ready to go, I'll have oh, that. Bitcoin. Yes. Bitcoin. Or maybe Ethereum. And then it'll trickle down through the other yeah. coins as well. And the estimation is that by 2028, the market cap, I think we're sat at 1 trillion right now, will go anything up to about $8 trillion. So this is a point where if you have some spare things lying around that you wouldn't miss, yeah. or you don't need it very soon, you can just sit back and just relax and not worry about, this is going to be your one big point to get in before the regulation comes in. Mark the date that we told you. Yeah, when the regulation hits, there will be an instant surge in value. And you could yeah. skip out right then if you wanted and just make a quick... You know, mm. a quick double up. I think the main thing is making sure that whatever you put into it, it's something that you wouldn't be too upset if yeah. something went wrong. If, Do you know what I, mean? I think that's always probably a... I've got a rule inside of crypto, and if you're not prepared to watch it go down 50%, then you don't deserve to watch it go up three, four, five, six times. Mm. Mm. And I know that's savage, but put it in for the long run. Don't don't put it in that, oh, I might need it in three to six months because of A, B, no. or C. The yeah. car breaks down. Yeah. You no, know, don't anything do that like that. Don't do that. No. Put, but if you put... But hey, but listen, just yeah. the odd hundred quid that you got somewhere here and there, maybe even 30 quid, 50 quid. Yeah, if you did a bit so of overtime. Often, and just yeah. drip it in there, drip it in there. And you never know, that 50 could end up being five grand, you know? You'd, you'd, Easily, you yeah. Know? And that's something. Yeah. So that's something. So and, and, and in the economic times that we're in right now, you need to be able to multiply your money. Yes, exactly. And this is going to be this is going to smash the shit out of any any interest rate thing you've got going on, oh, any yeah. nonsense like that, um, ISIS and all that crap. It's it's not just gonna work. yeah, I mean, to make big, you've got to take risk. Um, and this, but this is one where you can do some research, you can watch some people online, you can listen to the current news, you can stay up to date, you can inform yourself, and then make some decisions that could actually really change your life like later down the line and, and for the naysayers out there that are like what if bitcoin goes to zero 
What if it yeah. dies? What if it's not here? There is five underground bunkers that are manned by high X-rated military personnel. You're talking like SAS job dotted across the globe that are only there on uh, non-connected servers to protect people's Bitcoin keys. So there you go. <laughs> so... There wouldn't be are, that investment. Yes. Mm. There wouldn't be There's that too investment. too much money here. Underground bunkers. Yeah. There are big players involved in all of this. That was that was a documentary <laughs> on Netflix, and the owner of one of the underground bunkers, it took him an hour to get through security. Amazing. And that's I for their really Bitcoin keys. Yeah. Because uh, I put money into crypto <laughs> yeah. and just watched it scream. Like, yeah, it's horrible. Watched it go up, and I'm like, I've made like 20 grand. And then like two weeks later, like, oh, I've lost 30. <laughs> It's brutal. Yeah, like literally, it is like, brutal like, literally industry. Like there was one point where I was I should have taken it out. Like yeah. I should have, but because I was in it for the long haul, I didn't really look. I was just like because I knew this is a long term investment. Yeah. But if I was savvy and done research, I could have made taken that money out, wait for it to dip, put back in, and I could have made a feral wallop in the, in if I'd been smarter about mm-hmm. it but if we all knew how to time the market we'd all be millionaires right? yeah well, I think that's but, it but there were points just where it was an obvious peak yeah. and I should have just dished out some you know yeah. and and remember the rule of thumb so if, if if you guys do invest that you're watching the show and things like that and then the next bull run comes around which bull run is where the market comes up bear um, is where it gets bummed a bear yeah so imagine bear imagine like it's it's savaged by a bear. The, well, the, say, the saying is the ball goes up the stairs, the bear goes out the fucking window. Right. <laughs> That's how fast it shifts and it flips. So if you invest in cryptocurrency and the next time the bull run comes around and you cash out in profit and then you watch it skyrocket afterwards, don't keep telling yourself, oh God, I wish I'd have kept it. I yeah. wish I'd have held it. No one went broke taking profits. It's yes. a very good rule to live by. You made profit. You're in the green. Yeah. You didn't lose money. That's yeah. something really important to remember. Yeah, I think once, you, once your money's out of it, probably don't watch the market for a bit. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. A, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a very yeah. good idea. Yeah. yeah, I've literally only, I've got like a couple of hundred quid cause, and I did it because of you. what you said really. If like, yeah. Just getting some, yeah. yeah. And, uh, just getting now because yeah. Yeah. this is this is going to be the last kind of bit where you can do some serious jumps. Yeah, yeah. I've got a friend who is a, a blockchain coder, and he was like trying to explain to me what it was, and I was just like, because that's the that's the technology that when you build underpins. on to it. Yeah. yeah, so you could create a, a Lex and Lewis coin for the Crewcast podcast and yeah. stuff. You could be like, oh, I got a Crew coin, and yeah. that's the really cool shit. Oh, that we goes need, on we that. need our own that's NFTs. My hobby <Yeah>. Is, is NFTs a lot of shit? It was, but it's changing. So NFTs, when they first came out, was, hey, buy my JPEG. Yeah, like, what it's the like, frick? Like, yeah. they're, they're worthless, surely. Well, they were, and I keep saying they were, and the problem with this is is I used to question investments all the time, and this is where I was going wrong. I'd be like, fuck, you know, why is somebody paying someone's bought, for that monkey bought an eight, picture an, or something? Eight big, an eight-bit picture of a turd with a fly that just goes like, bing, 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 yeah, bing, and for like it. hundred grand like, or something. What, yeah. what are you going to do with that ever? Like, exactly. What's the purpose but, of it? But now the mindset shift I had was I don't give a fuck. If somebody's willing to pay for it, I'll make one. Yes. And that's the mindset shift you need to have as a creator. But you've got to be the seller then. Yes. You're always the seller. You're not the buyer. That's Don't it. buy. Yeah. Because it's it's like the cryptocurrency mining. I might look like I'm balling because I've got a couple of machines that are making me true passive income, but the real winners are the manufacturers, the ones making the machinery. Because it doesn't matter whether it goes up or down, they're still selling machines, so aren't they? Basically, mm-hmm. NFTs were something to sell to rich dummies. No. no. NFTs were a good leverageable investment if you were in early enough. And then you could buy and flip. But again, it's market timing. Now, the difference that has to happen inside of NFTs for any real value to come back in them, even in a bull run, yeah. for any real value to come back into NFTs, they have to have a uh, use term, a value. So something has to be built into the backside of the NFT that has a real world value. For example, there is a very famous mentor um, called Sean Whalen, and he's multiple... Hundred million pound, uh, million dollar he business. He sounds owner. like a comic book 
villain. He's amazing. He's pretty much that. Smoke What's cigars in his Lamborghini Aventador. Sean Whalen. Sean Whalen. That sounds like yeah. something like a bad guy. He's in yeah. a big ass building. He's, he's on the dead. top floor. Sean Whalen. He runs yeah. something called the Lions Den. Yeah, maybe he's not even a bad brilliant. guy. Maybe that's just the name of like like a Bruce Wayne. Sean yeah. Whalen. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's more that actually. It's because of what is it? Whalen Corporation. That's in, uh, why. <laughs> I knew it. That's why. God yeah. damn it. What's that from? Alien, isn't it? Is it? Yes. You and your library brain. Mm -hmm. So it's essentially, Sean, that is exactly what Sean is. Whalen was one of the first few to put and code into the backside Before of the Before you say something really intelligent, can we, just, can we just all appreciate the dumbness of my brain? My brain, when you said Whalen, went, we know something with that the, that word then. This, ooh, oh, sorry, you told you yourself. <laughs> That's all right. right? Yeah. We know something. Good. You know it. Think, what is it? And then you, it's like, it's your, Batman. your brain went, da -da 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 -da, Whalen. Accessing memory banks. W. <laughs> Film. Genre. Sci-fi. <laughs> I remember. Circa. Completely useless <laughs> information. Like that, Anything of importance. Can't remember. My brain's going. Waylon, you know it. <laughs> T Top Gun soundtrack. Danger zone. <laughs> Your phone number from when you were eight years old at a house that no longer even exists. Six nine zero seven three zero. Six nine six two eight one. Ring that number now. Somebody ring zero one two eight two six nine six two eight one. And just when the answer go. You lived at Lex's house. <laughs> and then hang up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brain. It super annoys me because I want my brain to do what his did then. Like, actually understand what the memory was sparking. But no. Well, you nothing. did. You got a phone number from it, mate. Yeah, you, you've all got my old phone number. Or Lorna Taylor's, who is a, a girl who... I don't know that much water. I just want some water because... Oh, I'm no, a this is for the whiskey with, thing. Because I'm do you know, a massive do you know what we're going to do? Cigar. We're going to run this poddy until an hour, and then we're going to split this into a second podcast because we've talked about crypto in this one. Which and, was and just to cover Lex's thing, the reason NFTs may become oh, yeah, valuable yeah. afterwards is because you can code something into the back of it. Sean Whalen coded into the back of his NFTs. If you bought one of his lines, not cheap NFTs, then um, you could get into his event, which is happening in 2023. So and that's the only way you oh, can It's like it. a key. Exactly. Or, no, yeah. pass, pass. But it can have anything built into the back. Anything that you can code onto the back of a blockchain or onto a blockchain, you could build it into an NFT. But nobody was doing that. Everybody's just like, oh, buy my artwork, buy yeah. my artwork. So it was digital artwork, except you could just right click on it and save the image and you got one. I know. That's what I thought. But like, you, don't, you don't own the original. Yeah, I don't care. I've got a copy of it. So Here's my 8 bit poo with a fly on it. There yeah. you go. It's on my phone doing that's what it, it does on your phone that you paid 100 grand for. So it needs a real term use. And they reckon, like, the because all the basketball companies, Aston Martin Racing, got into the NFT world and things like that, they reckon they're going to start coding stuff into the back of it. Whether it's like lucky prizes, whether it's tickets to a game or whatever it might like be. Something that gives you access. When there's a real world use for it, then value can be added back into the NFT game. Are you, so, are you also human? Yes. He just likes to point out that he waved his hand across my cigar, knocked all the ash end off it, and there's not a mark Good. on his skin. Like Good. nothing. Not even an ash line. Eat your placentas, audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like what is I feel like we're being aliened I feel like he's, he's here yeah, crypto you, alien you might be yeah, yeah he's <laughs> from Remember, the quantum realm did, did you hear the voice note I sent back because I'm assuming you were in the gym together when Lex message left me a voice note saying we were having coffee darling no we were having coffee uh, <laughs> uh, right yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I was like I'll tell you about I couldn't coffee. remember what your name was and uh, it, and and uh, I was just like with um, oh, crypto, yeah. man. crypto man crypto <laughs> 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 man crypto <laughs> man <laughs> yeah, that, in that coffee place, I'd like to point out as well. This must, I'm pretty sure this is only in Shrewsbury this would happen. We were in there and, like, Jason was like, I need to pee. And I looked around and was like, and was like there's no toilet here. And I was like, it's like 12 to 15 seats in this place. And I'm like, legally, they have to have a toilet. Yeah. And then you literally got to walk behind the counter yeah. to go to the toilet in the back. Oh, she's was, drinks, and she just stepped aside and went, yeah, it's over there. And just let you wander behind the counter. There's a like we just heavy shouts at me. So go around. It's like flat white, please. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right. Sorry, mate. There's a before or after. I uh... oh yeah, before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a cafe in Hagley around the corner from me, and it's called Cup. It's a tiny little cafeteria, but they have like a, a porter cabin thing that's out the back, and like you know, like Digbeth Dining Club. 
where they've got like different eateries and it's just like a porter cabin that's a kitchen and different places will come and visit and okay. you know you get like just random places that'll yeah. pop there and they're always really nice and you get to it by walking down the back it's literally you feel like you're going you're like through their business yeah you're in the staff <laughs> area you cut through the kitchen and then you're out the back and there's more seating than this whole cab port cabin thing and you're like all oh, right that was a bit weird oh, yeah. yeah that's cool though mm, it is right well for a quick sum up on the crypto things, recommendations yep. for where people could start to have a look at this if they wanted to. We're going to wrap it up in four minutes. So you can start the safest exchanges out there that have been proven and audited to have your um, the money that you put on exchange backed and they have just shit tons of money is Binance and Coinbase. Do not buy yes, any coins from Binance. anywhere else. But then what I would highly suggest right now at this very volatile time is that you take it off exchange and get a warm wallet. If you want to know what or how to do that, you can either go to my channel or I can make What's the it. channel? Uh, it's Coin Mining Geek on YouTube. And Coin it will show Geek. you... Yeah, Coin Mining Geek. Coin Mining Geek. And it will show you exactly how to set up a warm wallet in a warm wallet. about six minutes. Oh, hang on though. If you pull it off on a warm wallet, do you still... Obviously, the value still increases or decreases as per the market. So you will get what they call arbitrage. So different... Wallets, different exchanges will have their own prices. Okay. So you might lose a bit of value, but if you know if you send it back there, you'll get the value back. So it is just what it is. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's again, it's a minor fluctuation. <clears throat> yeah. um, but that that's the safest way to hold your cryptocurrency. All of my coins are off exchange right now. Absolutely every one of them. Right. So because of all the craziness that's going on right now, and if that scares you guys. That means there's an opportunity. Just remember yeah. that. While everyone is running scared, uh, there's something called a fear and greed index in the cryptocurrency market, and we're at extreme fear right now, which means everything's on sale. When places hit poverty, some people are making a lot of money. People make a lot of money. Well, money of money's exchanging, isn't it? Yeah. It's not being lost. Mm. It's not just going from someone. It's going to someone else. Yes. So value's always exchanging hands, and more money's being printed all the time. So yeah. why don't the poor people have more money? It's like, well, because we keep spending it. <laughs> we keep giving it to those oh, that are yeah. producing like, um, the, the need the, for the, it. The, the one percenters... Yeah. Uh, they they crave times like this. It's yeah. where they make their the, billions. Yeah, this is where the real money's made. Real is money's in, is made. in times of recession and yes, hardship. It's hundred percent. It's nothing to do with normal markets. So yeah, that's something just very quickly again. If you could squeeze this in, um, you mentioned before, Bitcoin is effectively digital gold, right? It is what it is. There is a finite amount of it. It will stay the same. Yeah. Um, something like Ethereum. What's the what's the difference there? What's so Ethereum has given a use to blockchain technology. So you'll see that they have smart contracts, which mean um, that anyone can use them and, and like write up a contract, a physical contract. So you could sell a house on it, mm -hmm. and it's bound. And because it's a decentralized network, there will always be a record of it mm -hmm. forever and a day. It's not like oh, I got this piece of paper and it's at the solicitors, and oh, we lost that, or there was a fire, or we broke our computer. Mm. It's on the blockchain. Yeah. And the cryptocurrency miners, mm -hmm. us, are the ones that secure the blockchain and have a record of it right. so that's a real term use for blockchain technology ethereum is so you can buy and sell coins you can produce nfts on the network it's it's like a use whereas bitcoin is just a store of wealth and that's the difference and then this is where your due diligence comes in you look into different coins according to what they do and again it's just like stocks and shares do you believe in the project that's what you need to do. You need to believe in the project that you're buying into and then it doesn't matter if it goes down or it goes up because you believed in it. At some point, yeah. you've got to believe the value will come back into the project. But again, that being said, if you invest anything outside of the top 10 coins, you know, you're asking for a little bit more trouble yeah. and a little bit more volatility. But in the same but respect, if it, goes, yeah, if it goes coin. down hard, yeah, that's it. I mean, from like point zero 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 one value to like 9p mm. and that's thousands of percent, 67 so. pence audience is it it Holy did it did crap. go to it did go to it's People it's, it's about 6.7 yeah millions on millions hundreds of millions made yeah so there we go i hope it was interesting man that's a four. two out of one is a twofer so <laughs> yeah um if you've got any questions about that hit us up we will uh I'll definitely get jace back on because he's local and um we're going to be yeah doing bits and bobs together anyway outside of this so it'll be yeah. fun um so i hope you had a good week it's uh coming into dark by four o'clock days so get yourselves out sunshine get your rhythms going uh i start my cold plunges 
on Monday. The barrel Can is you say full. this last Monday? No, I have to be able to video it. Oh. So I, have to, I want to video a full week of me doing it. Oh. And I didn't want to start it, then start videoing it and give a false sense. I want people to see the pain in my eyes when I get in that first time. And I want them to see my penis go from down between my legs to up inside my body to mm. around the nipple region. I think it'll be, a good pig I think it'll be hilarious. <laughs> so that starts. So we'll have that to come out as well. But as always, leave behind in the week that has gone what was bad, bring forward what was good and make it a great freaking week. And we'll catch you in the next one, which we're going to call right now. So it's definitely coming. Tittle pip. Tittle pip.